Good afternoon and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, um, yeah, today I was not overly productive as, <clears throat> I think as productive as I was yesterday. Like I went to grocery stores and you know, all that kind of stuff, but um, today I did edit and that was kind of it. My dad actually started getting some of the spot ready to put down our next vegetable garden. And me and my mom are going to go get the vegetables for that tomorrow. Um, the good thing is that we can always do like leafy vegetables like spinach and kale and lettuce and that kind of stuff. Um, so that it, you know, because it doesn't take as long to grow and some of the other ones. So if we do wind up getting another bed and we can always plant more like leafy vegetables and stuff like that and then also too guys yesterday me and my mom went on a wild bug hunt <laughs> um because there was something that's been eating one of our plants outside real bad um and so we went out there actually last night after i was done taking a shower because my mom was trying to see like we were thinking oh maybe it's like a slug or something like that but we were like well we would have seen it and like i didn't see anything on the plant at all last night um like i went out there like later in the afternoon when it was starting to get dark and i didn't see it so we did set out like some salt but we again never ended up seeing anything so then once i was done taking a shower my mom's like well let's go take another look and make sure it's not like slugs because i mean this plant was like pretty devoured um and we went out there and we found at first just one of these little like caterpillar things And found out that the type of plant it is with a, which I believe it's called a Delph, Delphinia or something like that. Um, that it's very common that there's this specific type of caterpillar that likes to like eat into the stalk or something like that. And that um, they actually survived from like last winter. Now the one that I saw didn't look the same as the pictures that some other people had seen and also said they looked green we thought ours were more brown maybe they were just like a different kind of caterpillar or something like that but I'm pretty sure that was the culprit as to what was eating it we ended up finding I think one or two on that plant and then throughout the that whole flower bed we ended up finding a few more I think we ended up finding maybe about five yesterday um so as soon as we found them we smushed them um I think again if they are the same type I don't know if they are or not because they I think are from like a different um like I said maybe a different type of like caterpillar but they have been eating our plants um specifically that one really bad but then it started to move into some of the other plants as well that were over there like the one that was next to it and even the one that was next to that and then we found more even further down the flower bed so um they like if it is this type of caterpillar there's no necessarily like pesticide that we can use and I don't want to um because it's not really you know like there's nothing that's super safe um there's no like natural remedy that I know of but everybody was just saying the best thing to do is just to peel them off and <laughs> smush them basically um so yeah that kind of stunk that one of our beautiful plants that are outside are pretty much a goner um it's got like one stalk that has almost no leaves left on it because it was almost completely eaten up um but it does have some really pretty white flowers and other than that there wasn't a whole ton really that was like left on there but then there's other branches that ended up getting the stalks chewed off but they have some leaves left there's also another little like little buds that are kind of coming up um so hopefully again it can kind of survive maybe <laughs> um but we'll have to wind up seeing so um yeah guys that was fun yesterday and it's not so fun that the like i said the caterpillars are out there eating a part part of our garden already um and we haven't even moved into the vegetables or anything like that yet so when that rolls around that'll also be fun you know to try and keep bugs and things like that from eating our um our vegetables so, um, like I said, at least these are just flowers and hopefully it's kind of contained to this one flower because, again, if that is the type of worm that it is, but it was like eating some of the other plants, which didn't, some people were saying was kind of common too, but I guess there's not a whole lot like 
that's known about this one specifically. I couldn't find a lot of resources online either. They did say that I think the Delphinia is very like susceptible to slugs um, and snails and stuff like that like it a lot but like I said we ended up actually finding these worms which like I said people are saying were green but ours weren't so maybe again they were a different kind. I'm not totally sure but um we did find those out there. So, um, I mean, it's a good thing that we kind of narrowed it down to what it we think it is. Um, and that hopefully we can try and prevent it the best we can. And again, maybe try and use the methods next year to like cut it down. Stuff like that. Because I didn't wind up cutting it down over the winter. And so that's actually, I think, where like the they store their eggs over the winter or whatever. It's actually inside the plant. So when it starts growing, you have to cut it down and everything. So... Anyways though guys, the other thing too is that I've had my windows open in here for like a few days now, um, which you guys can't tell because my blinds are closed, but um, I hear the June bugs outside my windows because they always want to get in because I actually use like LED lights in my room. Um, I used to not really like it when I first got it, it was a little bit of an adjustment, but it's a little bit better because it doesn't have the, um, like it doesn't cast like shadows, um, from the bolt, the like chandelier. Um, so the bugs are really bad in wanting to try and get in my room and I hear these huge bugs outside my window, which is just like terrifying guys, it's like hitting the screen and I'm scared that they're going to like wind up finding a way to get in or something like that. So yeah guys, lots of bugs and, um, <laughs> not really anything that I am too fond of. Not that I, like I said, it's not a huge big deal. I'm not like deathly afraid of bugs or anything like that like Jack is <laughs> um, he is like honestly will not go near bugs I don't have such a big problem with them it's flying bugs specifically I don't really like because they're unpredictable but ones that are like on the ground and stuff like that and are slower moving I don't really care and like Jack's scared of like everything like ladybugs roly-poly bugs like I mean any kind of like an ant he is scared of a moth he is scared of butterflies he is scared of like <laughs> the one episode of Spongebob or whatever um that's like Jack he's like terrified of every type of bug literally um like I said I just hate hearing them outside of my window because I can hear them flying and like hitting into the screen and it just yeah so I try to not leave my overhead light on that often in the afternoon or like at night I'll sometimes turn my side lights on like my table lamp and or like the side lamp um so it's not quite as bad but they still are attracted to the light even when my blinds are closed um even like from the other ones too so yeah anyways though guys i'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshine faces tomorrow so bye guys